Okay, so the next phase of this, and probably the most crucial thing, and you have to have travel indicators to do it, is uh, now this travel indicator will show how far down the car went in the middle of the turn. And what I want to know is, I want to know when does it hit the bump stop and how hard it's going to hit the bump stop. So um, what I'll do is I'll compress it down to where, the, where it hits the O-ring and that'll give me a, a final load number on that corner. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to compress it until it just touches the bump stop. Okay, right when it touches. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero my travel indicator. I'm going to write down this load number. 1374. So now when I compress it, when I compress it to the travel, the travel indicator here will let me know how far into the bump stop I am and then the weight here will give us a final load number. Now this is crucial you do this exactly perfect. 2246. And I'm in the bump stop 0.612. Now if you, wanted to, uh, if you wanted to, what you could do is when you get to the bump stop, you could then travel like, you could compress it like every eighth of an inch and then write it down on the piece of paper and then you can create yourself a graph so you can learn the curve of the spring load as it ramps up as you get down to, uh, to wheel travel. The tough part is learning out, learning what to do with that data and uh, throughout the testing I've done last year and stuff, We've got to a point where we kind of have an idea how far in the bump stop we want to be and kind of what load numbers work at certain tracks. So it's, it's a lot of trial and error. Um, it's a lot of going out, run a couple laps, come in, take everything back off the car, throw it on the radar, um, go through the motions, write down the numbers, learn, you know, input what the car is doing, all that stuff. And it's just, it's a tool that allows you to gather information and it's up to you to take that information and, and learn what works for your driving style and the type of track you run on.